Hey there, Polycasters, Rob here. Welcome back to Ask Polymer, the show where you send in your hashtag questions and we answer them. Our first question today comes from Frank, who asks, will the designer tool be back in Polymer 1.0? That's a great question. A lot of people have asked me about it. You might remember the designer from some of our older talks. Uh, it was originally built as kind of a proof of concept of what you could possibly do with web components. And the original designer was never really a production ready thing. I'm happy to say though that in 1.0, we are working on designer two, if you will. Uh, but when I've asked the team for the, the ETA, all they said was it'll be a long time. So we're working on it. We're going to make it an actual production ready thing, but it might take a while for it to come out. So thank you, Frank, for sending in that question. All right. Our next question comes from Dominic, who asks, can you talk a little bit about the Safari support for Polymer? So that's a really great question. Uh, what's recently happened is the WebKit folks have announced that they've just landed support for Shadow DOM in WebKit Nightly. So you can check out this blog post over here to read more about that. Uh, what that means is Polymer should, in the very near future, start running a lot faster in Safari when that finally ships in their stable version. So uh, hopefully things are going to be improving there really soon. Thanks for that really awesome question, Dominic. All right, our next question comes from Rob Rez, who asks, can I create a data binding imperatively? So that's a really interesting question. It's one that a few people have sent me on Twitter. I asked the team about this, and they said that even though this is kind of an often requested feature, it's not something that's currently supported in Polymer. And when I asked why, they said mainly because they want to focus on polishing the core features before adding any sort of like additional fanciness like that. So for the moment, that's not supported. Not saying it won't be supported someday, uh, but at the moment, no, you have to do everything declaratively. All right, our next question comes from Danny, who asks, should an element import all of its dependencies, or can you just take those imports and put it in an element's HTML file? So that's a really cool question. And you know, a lot of people are confused about this because you can put stuff in an element's HTML file, and it'll seem like the app continues to work. But generally, as a best practice, we recommend that any element have all of its dependencies imported at the top of its definition. And mainly because this ensures that those other elements have loaded before your element tries to register and, and use them. Um, people also wonder, you know, does that possibly impact performance? But the way HTML imports are written, all of those additional imports, even if there are duplicates, they will actually be deduplicated. So there's no performance penalty there. And if you're using Vulcanize, it's only going to add those imports once, and it'll do it in the right order. So the best practice is always have your elements import their dependencies, and you should be good to go. OK, our last question comes from Jose, who asks, can you declare styles in an Iron Media query? And if not, like, what's the point of the Iron Media query element? So that's a really good question. I know when you first see that element, it's a little confusing. You're not quite sure how to use it. But the idea with Iron Media Query is that it's mainly meant for data bindings. So if you need to change an attribute or a property on some other element when your page is at a smaller screen size, you can do that using that element. You know, This is the kind of work that you actually can't do with CSS. You would probably have to write custom JavaScript to do that. And the Iron Media Query element is just going to let you do that in a nice declarative fashion. So thank you, Jose, for sending in that really great question. So that's it for today. Thank you, everyone who sent in those excellent questions. If you yourself have a question, you can leave it down in the comments, or you can ping us on a social network of your choosing at hashtag AskPolymer. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Our next question comes from Jose, who asks, can I declare styles? <laughs> this totally impresses on the dance floor. Uh...